Hello everybody, this is Bronislava. I have a blog, Handmade Drukodelky, where you can go and find lots of patterns. Some are free, some are that you need to go and purchase it to support my um, blog and my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, the same thing is going to be for today's project. It's going to be written on my blog, so you can go right below the video in the description click on a link to see the written pattern. And I will be actually today telling you how I uh, knitted this top-down yoke sweater, okay, with open front. And uh, it's made from a very bulky yarn. Unfortunately, you cannot go and purchase it anymore, but you could go and substitute it. And I talk about it a little bit in my video. This is the yarn, just in case you can go and find 16 balls for this small sized uh, sweater, 16 balls, okay? Um, and uh, it's just, I really enjoyed working with this because the way it came out uh, that you really cannot see increases in a yoke. Very simple pattern. Uh, also for people who are uh, who would like to really just try to to work with a pattern like this. Okay, uh, and I worked on very thick needles, knitting needles. So that's about it for uh, this project. Oh, and also I will go and show you how I added the the sleeve. Okay, so I'll tell you how I knitted this, but I will show you how I added one of these sleeves. Okay, so that's uh, that's what is our video about. So here I am. I laid out my uh, sweater on the floor so you could see better because my table is too small. In this video, I will not really knit the entire sweater, but I will explain to you how I knitted the yoke. It's a top down, so it's very simple pattern. It will be on my blog. And then I will show you how I am uh, working with the sleeve area. Let me first tell you what I used. I used this fabulous yarn that I bought <laughs> about five years ago. And um, this yarn is really um, uh, beautiful. I, I absolutely love some part of it is like muted. And then there are like brighter, like this orange or this purple that just pops out. Uh, the yarn is flat. They flatten the yarn and then they, then they sewed over it with a thread okay so it's really interesting yarn and i i really love the effect of it however sadly this yarn has been discontinued so i would go and suggest uh, using another different type of very chunky yarn that yields eight stitches and 11 rows in four inches, okay? Or you could also um, grab a yarn that is uh, also chunky, but not as chunky as this one, and double it. And I have, um, I have an example of a yarn over here. This one yields, uh, yields, uh, 14, almost 14 stitches. So if you would go and double it, it would give you that thickness of this yarn when you're knitting with it. All right. Then I have this one, but this one actually, this is also fabulous. I'm gonna go and knit something for you um, with this yarn. So if you go, th this yarn stretches. So, it, you would have to triple this yarn to get 
this chunkiness of this yarn because this yarn gets you about uh, um, 16 to 20 stitches per four inches all right but i love this yarn I, and i have different colors i was thinking about another uh sweater let's go and talk about other tools that i used i used uh 15 number 15 uh needles which is 10 millimeters okay and i also <laughs> worked with uh, with these uh circular needles also uh 10 millimeter uh number 15 but i use this only for this part and for the body and i'll tell you i was <laughs> suffering through it <laughs> and then i moved on to my um double pointed needles for my sleeves i, I mean i already finished one sleeve I'll be doing another sleeve. I will be showing it to you. Anyway, so let me actually explain to you what I did. This is this is bothering me that it's rolling. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I started here at the top. Okay. And so if we go and turn this around and we go and cast on the stitches... Uh, I knitted six rows. I just knitted six rows and I didn't do any increases. As soon as I was finished with six rows and started, and, and this is, as you see, garter stitch. Okay, so I was knitting back and forth, just knit stitches because this is knitted back and forth, it, not in the, in the round. And then I started increasing so for 10 rows over here i increased five times and you can actually see the shape over here is a little bit out so you know for the shoulders so it shapes on the shoulders that it's more rounded over here and then i started knitting uh i mean doing the increases as i was knitting uh uh lower number and lower and lower okay until i reached my uh armpits in the length okay and then when i was finished with this part i started working on my body so i connected my i connected my back to the fronts okay and as you see i started with one and so when i was connected the the connecting the uh, back to the front i placed as you see my uh sleeve stitches on the string so it would be you know i could go and connect it because if it would be on something really stiff you would not be able to connect this uh, very nicely right so i connected the uh the back with the front and also in between the back and the front i added a couple stitches okay so when i i was actually working over here i was i knitted my when i was doing it i knitted my stitches over here added two stitches okay Put, uh, actually first put my uh, stitches on this thread then added two stitches then I knitted my back stitches then I added this these sleeves stitches on a string like this all right then I added two stitches over here and continued knitting my front when i was finished with my length over here on my sweater i finished my edge with another garter stitch when i was working on the body i was beside the garter stitch i was working on knit stitches on one side and pearl stitches on the other side but 
my edges were all knitted. They were knitted on the right side and they were knitted on the wrong side, okay? So that's what I did. Again, my pattern is going to be on um, on my blog and it's going to be, uh, it's very well written, so you will not have a hard time following it. But let me go and show you what I did with the sleeve area when I was working over here. I will show you how I cast it on and how I will knit one or two rows. So you see what I was doing. And then later on, I started decreasing to make the sleeve more narrow. Let me go and pull this over here so you can see better. So you can see where I was every 10 rows, I was decreasing two stitches. Okay, one here and one here right there on the uh, seam it did not have any seam because you know but it has the start starting point point and ending point right so right there at the beginning i would go and decrease and at the end i would decrease and i did that four times and then finished the the uh, sleeve again with garter stitch although I cast it on two stitches in here when we were putting the back and uh, fronts together and leaving the sleeves uh, stitches on our string. It does look uh, like I have, you know, like I need four stitches in here. And uh, we will definitely go and do four stitches in here because we would have like big gap in here, okay? So we will kind of close that gap there. Uh, but first we will put these stitches on our needles. So I will just take my needle and place it into each of the stitches. And if they got uh, short for you to place them in, you can pull them up a little bit. And um, so I have 24 stitches in here and I will be adding uh, four stitches that will be 28. So I will put seven stitches over here actually on this, I will put five stitches. Then I will put seven stitches on the next needle, seven stitches over here and five stitches in here. And then we will add two stitches to this needle and two stitches to this needle, okay? So that's what I will do. And you can do it also because we want the middle right there, okay? All right, so now we are going to start knitting in the round. So we will be knitting only, I like to go and pull the, um, from the inside. <laughs> uh, so we will be knitting in the round, okay? Oh, here is, here is our end. Okay, so you know that if you want to start, and you need to knit on the um, uh, on the right side, we will need to go and start right over here, okay? So we will go and look where is our stitch, one of the two stitches. So we have this stitch. We were knitting going down, so this is the stitch and this is the stitch that we add it and then we have that space between these stitches okay let me go and show it to you better okay so we were knitting down this way so this is the stitch that we added and this is the stitch that we added and then we have this space between the other stitches so 
this one stitch belongs to this needle this stitch belongs to this needle okay so we will go and add a stitch to this needle because we're gonna be working in this direction all right so we will go and If you have hard time pulling it th uh, through the stitches with your needle, you can also do it with the hook. All right, so let's go and do it with the hook. It will be easier. So we can go and grab this and place it on your needle. And now, find a nice spot that is not gonna make a hole like this stitch would go and make a hole so I will go over here and it's gonna be firmer and it's not going to be I will not have any hole in there okay so that's two stitches that I was talking about and now we will knit five stitches and that will be seven stitches all together on this needle Okay, let's turn it around a little bit. Now we are going to knit next seven stitches. We'll turn again. Next seven stitches. Turn it around. Now we have five stitches and we need to cast on two more stitches. So we will go and knit five stitches. Five stitches. And we will cast on using hook again so it's easier on us. We will cast on two more stitches. So let me go and see. So we have this stitch that we need to cast on and we could go right here into this stitch. Let me show it to you again in a better way. Okay, so we will go here, grab the yarn, put it on the hook. So we cast it one stitch and now we need to cast on this stitch that we cast it on when we were adding back to the front. Okay. And we will add it on the hook again. Now we have this end and what I will do. Okay, now if you want to mark it, put beginning in here so you know where you are, although you will know but I, uh, I put uh, a um, marker in here so I know what's going on. And this was my first row and I also marked that because we will be, uh, we need to count 10 rows. So this is one row and we need nine more rows before we start uh, decreasing for the sleeve like I did over here. So you see, I marked my first row right in here okay knitted 10 rows and when i started knitting another row 11th or first row of another uh, section i decreased the stitches right there okay so let me go and mark it so i don't lose the count right here okay so that's our first row and also beginning of our row okay and we can go and continue knitting. Let me go and start you up. Now this is our tail. And what I will do actually, I will tighten up these and I will knit two or three stitches with my tail, with my tail and with my yarn. 
all right it's under arm so it won't show really that much that it's thick and here this one i have to knit through the back loop because it's twisted it should have been like this okay so that's two and one more i will knit because we need that stitch in the beginning nice and tight and then later on i will weave in the tail a little bit more all right and so this is my second row and i will knit nine more rows so until i have 10 rows i will knit and then we will decrease and i will show you the decrease okay and then from then on you can go and knit along my written pattern again this is going to be a written pattern for, for very simple chunky sweater for extra small or small lady and i will go and write the measurements of the of this sweater the length of the sleeves the width of the sweater the uh length of the sweater okay so you can go and look also on my blog there are lots of lots of free patterns some are for sale if you want to um if you want to support my channel and my my blog you can always purchase um or donate i do have also if you want to donate but you know at this at this time i don't think i went through the back loop over here as well as you noticed because that stitch was um uh, twisted and this one also it was not put on the needle in the right way all right so anyway so you know people i do i do this for people that cannot afford uh purchasing but if you can if you can purchase or donate that's wonderful you know but times are tough for many people i hate that that people suffer i hate it so much all right so let me go and uh, knit until I have 10 rows and then I will show you how to decrease uh, right there on, on in this area. All right, so I'm finished with my 10 rows. Let me go and show you. So this was our first stitch of the row. Uh, first row, second three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay? And in this row, which is gonna be our first row of the next section, we will decrease. We will decrease first two stitches and we will decrease last two stitches, okay? So first two stitches, we have to knit together okay and then we knit all the way to the last two stitches which we will again decrease so let's get there and then i will explain to you how i was working on the other sleeve just to give you ideas and then you will take it from there okay and this sleeve is knitting pretty fast because it's such a chunky yarn that it goes fast however Oh, look at this. Oh, do, oh yeah, 
here it is look at that i i don't like that i don't like that i have to cut this off and mm, i don't like that this is the first knot that i have experienced with this yarn so what i do i will cut it okay let's let me go and knit couple stitches over here one and two all right and now we can go and add these two together and i will knit with both of them together and then i will just weave in the ends okay all right i have three stitches knitted and then i'll just weave in the ends later on i don't like this okay oops and we are actually at the end at the end you see this is my marker i would forget i would go and <laughs> decrease over here no 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 you have to watch your where is your um so-called seam okay so what we need to do with these last two stitches is we will slip slip and knit through the back loop okay so now this was my first row and i will go and put my marker here that's my first row and again i will count 10 rows so now i have to knit another nine rows including this is gonna be 10 rows and then i will go and do my decrease again and let me go and show you over here on this sleeve so this was my first decrease with which, which we just did over here so this was my first row i did again 10 rows including that one and then i did another decrease okay i repeated it one two three more times total four decreases when i got over here i just knitted several more rows in the round and then I did six rows of pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl knit, okay. And then the last row, the seventh row, I would go and cast off or bind off my stitches, okay. So that's what I did. A again the uh, pattern is written on my blog will be written it's not written yet it's halfway written <laughs> okay so it will be written if you want to knit a chunky sweater with a very chunky yarn however you as i said you will need to go and buy yourself a um another different type of yarn because they don't make this yarn anymore maybe you could go and find somewhere maybe somebody is selling this yarn somewhere and if you really like this yarn they have different colors as well actually i have a different color let me show you i have also this yarn you see it's also very pretty it has pink and uh like a cream orangey cream colors to it on the gray bay grayish base so this is also really pretty and i'm thinking what to do with this yarn and i have i have also two bags of this one <laughs> so i went crazy i bought four bags okay ladies and gentlemen this is it for today i hope you enjoyed my video again don't forget that the links are below my video in the description links to blog and playlist okay and other links to social media uh please don't forget to like the video it really helps me to you know to see that you really appreciate what i'm doing all right 
Don't forget to comment if you if you think that uh, you really enjoyed this video. Say something really nice. <laughs> And uh, you can also share your ideas if you think that I could improve something else, okay? Don't forget to share it with your family and friends. It's I am always very happy when you do that. Subscribe to my channel if you didn't do so yet, all right? And don't forget to follow me on social media. And then you will see me another time. <laughs>